Winter, winter. I come from Minnesota, a big winter state. That's exactly right. Big blizzard coming in. Predators roaming, predators roaming. People, people, people sometimes set sail on their sleds. So, so northwesterly wind will blow them off to the southeast into Wisconsin where they'll be safe. But many of them, many of them don't make it. No, they're off there, off there, out. You know, it's a beautiful thing in the winter time is to get up in a hot air balloon and to fly, fly over the land. Do you? Get above it all. Get above those polar bears that are roaming around down there. Get around with, away from those coyotes. All of that. Get up high in the air so you can look around. The wind blows you down towards the south and the sun comes out and it's warm up there and you're just drifting along with the breeze. You can see people down below and you can hear everything that goes on. You can see this guy sitting out there on his porch playing the banjo. What, what, is, what good does that do? What's he, what's he up to anyway? He, he thinks he's all alone and he's not. He's learning a tune and when he does learn it, it'll make no difference whatsoever. Oh, people down there making sausage. Look at those people under the, under the trees down there. They're, they're making sausage in, in, a, in a nylon stocking. They're stuffing it in there and uh, uh, putting pork oh, in there. Put some more of that pork in there. <laughs> now they're going in the trunk of their car. They're getting a roadkill out of there. Yeah. Hard to tell what that is. Possum or badger? Yeah, a, oh, yeah, leave badger. the skin on. No, yeah, no, the skin's badger. on that. Good, good. Who would put badger in the tail. sausage? <laughs> and now this is going to be blood sausage, so they'll pour blood in it there. Where'd you get this again? <laughs> The kids are not going to eat this sausage. This is going to no, last Dad, all, no, all through next spring. Oh, no, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. All right. A balloon moves, drifts on. Did I say we were over the south? I think we know from that sausage that we are over, over Georgia, over your, oh, over your state. Yes. Oh, here's a boy pole vaulting, practicing the pole vault here. And, all by himself, out in the woods. Don't get it, get it, get it, what's the corn swaggle and your muscles. Here's a man trying to start a car down here. It's an old car. Where's that car come from? That doesn't look like an American car. I think that is a, that is a Parisian taxi down there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's 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 what that was. All right. I can tell him. Whoa! And now drifting, drifting to the south, we we see a thunder and lightning storm coming up. Yes, a big storm coming up in it. And an earthquake down below. Could this be the last days? Are we on the verge of the tribulation? Do we need to read our apocalypse? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now the earth below us cracks under the force of that earthquake. And enormous prehistoric eggs <laughs> under the earth's crust are hatched by the tremendous heat of the lava flowing up. <laughs> that is so interesting watching you do that. I love, I love that. When is this man gonna need a handkerchief? <laughs> and now out of the cracks, those eggs hatch to form giant mutant pterodactyls. <laughs> Making their way across the landscape. Innocent children run in fear. Pterodactyls striking out at the wicked and the righteous alike. 
of God's judgment on the earth. Now, now planes come in over the horizon. Planes fire missiles at the pterodactyls. They catch them, they catch them in their giant prehensile hands and they hurl them into the sea and they detonate underwater. And dolphins come to the surface who are very confused. Yes, they are. Dolphins out of control. No longer the friendly animal who does tricks. These are dangerous. <laughs> dangerous dolphins. A Navy submarine approaches. A submarine approaches and the dolphins take it over before it can dive. Crazed dolphins take it over, throw the sailors overboard. Take it over. And down they go. Dive, dive, dive. Dive. Now, dolphins, dolphins are very intelligent creatures. And they and they set their they, they aim periscope. What are you looking at me for? You're standing here. <laughs> they, and now in the sky, they, they see, they sense with their, with their extra sensory perception, they sense a, a, a meteoroid heading straight towards Earth, straight, heading straight for Atlanta, Georgia. Coming in. Oh, Lord, good Lord, there's a meteorite coming down this way. <laughs> now, they look. And they aim the forward tubes up, and they put in powerful <laughs> nuclear missiles, and they fire them out into space. <laughs> and they hit the meteoroid, and it breaks apart into thousands of pieces that scatter, and one enormous piece makes a deep canyon, a deep crevasse pit there in northern Georgia. It's a mile deep. What the hell was that, Jimmy? <laughs> Woo! That thing was big! I don't know what it was, but it was big! Five miles across. Five miles Mile down, five miles across. Whoa. It becomes a major tourist attraction. That's buses, a barbecue pit. Buses come. <laughs> buses come. Hot lava cooks barbecue. They make roadkill into barbecue sandwiches. Woo, got something there? Yeah, throw them on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thousands oh. of people come. Tens of thousands of people come. Traffic on all the freeways. It's crowded. And the people, the people of Georgia are tired of fighting traffic. They're tired of the whole thing and the oh, meteorite hey, landing in that this is pit and all. We had and they, big old barbecue and they get on a they get on trains and they headed for the north. They head north, even though it is late January. They're headed for the north for We're peace north. and Come quiet. On. Peace and quiet, and they arrive in northern Wisconsin. They arrive, and snow is falling. Beautiful snow. They've arrived. They've arrived. It's the promised land. Oh. That is, they got air conditioning up here. 24 7. Woo. Yes. Oh my gosh. And they put on their green and gold shirts. And they're right at home. Everybody as nice to them as can be. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, come on over here. Yeah, we got some, you brought some barbecue. Come on over here. Yeah. Just as soon as you Jeez, learn to you. say thank you the right way, you will feel you. right at home. Oh, thank you the right way? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Fred Newman.